So guys, we are here with Ken. Now, how do we pronounce that? Kreisinger. It's, it's Kerzinger. Kerzinger. Yes. Ken Kerzinger. So yeah, uh, being dyslexic, I, I'm seeing Z's <laughs> everywhere and everything. Who, of course, played Jason in Freddy vs. Jason. Yes. So that would have been a bit of fun there. It Getting was. to slosh some was. people up. Yes. All right, now. I'd like to get a little bit meta here. So, uh, Ken, since you played the character, if we took away uh, your machete and made made him sit down in a chair, chained with chains and everything, and tried to get to the root of his problems, what do you think uh, Jason's psychological issue? Why do you think he wants to hack up people and hack up the young girls everywhere and teenagers? And well, I, I, you know, of course, it all goes back to his mother and his uh, mother. He, always well, the mother. And he was neglected by the counselors and uh, they let him drown and of course that upset his mother quite a bit and then they killed his mother so he's kind of been on a bit of an angry rampage ever since uh, avenging that so do you think if we were to actually sit down and talk, uh, talk his problems out he might stop the killing he just needs love he just needs yeah, a, yeah. he just needs a cuddle that's all he needs <laughs> he needs to he needs to meet a nice girl i think you know <laughs> so now um, again, with uh, would you ever be interested in having maybe like a Freddy vs. Jason animation, like an actual cartoon, like a full-on series about, like the series that they get into? Could you do like a duo tag team? <laughs> that might be interesting. You never know. I mean, uh, some of the animation animated stuff is getting quite graphic and everything, so uh, you could probably do something with that. I reckon it would be amazing yeah, if we yeah. design. So what um, do you actually like watching and listening to yourself? Are you a horror buff yourself, or are you more like like more of the fantasy, or, the, or are you more like the serious drama? What are you into? Well, when I was a kid, I was one of those guys who, you know, the parents went to bed and I would sneak out of bed and turn the TV on and be about this far away so that they couldn't hear and uh, watching all the old horror movies I could get my hands on, the, you know, the thriller, chiller, midnight theater kind of stuff. And then, uh, but as I got older, I sort of got more interested in the science fiction. Okay. And uh, so I'd say uh, science fiction is really my... Uh, the genre I kind of like the most now. Well, you've got the right convention for that sort of stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. You totally got it. Yeah, I'm amongst now, friends. Now, another question as well is like, you know, again, horror that's out now can, some of it's really good and some of it's really bad. <laughs> so I wanted to run some movie tiles past you and I want you to give it a 1 to 10 rate. 1 being absolute garbage and 10 being one of the scariest things you've ever seen in your oh, okay, life. Okay, right. so if you know these ones. So yeah, yeah. Paranormal Activity 1. I'll give that a six. A six, all right. Paranormal Activity four. I'll give that a three. A three. <laughs> Cabin in the Woods. Cabin, I actually worked on Cabin in the Woods. Oh, did you? Yes. Uh, um, so I have to give that like a seven. Seven. <laughs> so I thought it was it was more clever than it was scary, but it was very very good movie. I can I, see how when they read the script, it was you know very interesting concept. Yeah, you know, oh, absolutely. Certainly different than uh, than anything I think anybody's seen. It, it had Josh Whedon all over it. Yes, you could just see yeah, it all yeah. over. What about the ring? Oh, the ring. I would rate that fairly high. I think uh, I, I enjoyed that. I give that an eight. An eight. Yeah. yeah. Sinister. Sinister. Um, I did see that, but I can't really recall it that. That's much. the so, one with the movie, uh, with the with yeah. the home movies and yeah. Uh, I guess be, it, it, because I because I, I know I've seen it, uh, and because it's not that memorable, I probably have to give that a five. Five. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. The Babadook. Have you seen that yet? No, no, I haven't seen that. I've had nothing but good reviews. Yeah, for that. I'm 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 a bit of a wuss. I won't actually go <laughs> see the horror movie until they're on DVD, so I can. So, so if you don't embarrass it. yourself by going like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about 28 Days Later? Oh, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I would give that a nine. Nine? Uh, yeah. And, and what about actually Freddy versus Jason? What would you actually oh, give well, that? Of course, I have to give that a ten. Ten, of totally. Know, no, no. But you know what I liked about Freddy versus Jason is, is the fact that um, you didn't have to see all the Elm Streets. You didn't have to no. see all the Friday the 13th. Uh, but there was always special nuggets there for the people who had. Yeah. And so it was a really well written script, I thought. Yeah. Fantastic. Look, thank you so much, Ken, for uh, talking with me today. Welcome. It's really, really appreciated. My pleasure. My pleasure. Take care. Bye, y'all.